You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have more Jordan 1s. These are the Air Jordan 1 Satin Bread. But before we dive into it, we want to give a huge shout out to 1985 Gallery for letting us get an early look at one of this year's more hype Jordan 1 releases. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shoes. You get that classic Jordan 1 in that classic black and red color blocking. But they switched out the texture for this smooth satin texture to give it a nice luxurious feel. Here at the tongue, you have that classic Nike Air tongue tag that sits atop of the satin tongue. They come with flat black laces with silver lace tips. For the eye stays, you have this metallic circles in black. And then taking this down to the toe box, you do have that red satin material with black satin overlays as well. Taking this to the side panel of the shoe, you have more of that satin textured material, and then you have red satin swooshes. Right above that, you do have the red satin wings, and then you have a embroidered black wings logo. Sitting above that, you do have more satin cushion padding. Feels much softer than your regular Jordan 1s. And then taking this to the back of the heel cup, you just have more of that red satin overlay that sits over the black satin. Taking this to the midsole, it's your classic Jordan 1 midsole, two-tone rubber midsole, white and red. And then for the outsole, you have that classic Jordan 1 outsole in red with the Nike swoosh in the middle. Unlike the Satin Band 1 release from 2016, the latest Satin Bread 1 is exclusive to women. For those of you who don't know, the Satin Band 1s from 2016 were super exclusive. I think they were numbered up to maybe like 3,000 or somewhere in that ballpark. And then in 2017, they did a Royal 1 colorway as well in Satin. In 2018, they did a women's exclusive Satin Shattered Backboard. And they're back now in 2023 in that classic black and red colorway. And like I mentioned earlier, the satin really gives it a nice luxurious look to them. And you can even feel a little bit more comfort in the collar with that nice satin padding. It's really comfortable. At first, I wasn't a huge fan of these. I thought the satin would kind of make the shoe a little droopy, but it's actually stitched on there pretty tight so they can hold their form. A couple things that I would do different is I would put tonal red eye stays right here to match with this winged flap that's stitched on. And then for the Jordan Wings logo, I would prefer if they did like a rubberized piece or encapsulated a black Wings logo in there, kind of like how they do on the KoJP ones. But other than that, it's pretty standard with your Jordan 1s. Does come with red set of laces like you saw in the product shots. Comes with an extra black tote bag with a nice red Jumpman on there as well. It's also a good alternative if you don't already have a pair of black and red ones, you know, the leather version. Nike, I think it's about time for a retro 85 cut or maybe even a reimagined pair of the black and red ones. It's been almost seven years, so would like to get a new updated version of those. These will be releasing at 1985 Gallery and on the Sneakers app on October 18th. Some of you might have already hit on the Shock Drop, and they retail for a price of 180. Like I mentioned, they are exclusive to women, but they will be going up to a men's 10 and a half. And in Jordan 1s, I definitely recommend going true to size. If you have a wider foot, you could go up a half size. And they also will be coming in toddler and preschool sizes as well. Jordan 1s, if you never had a pair, they're not the most comfortable, but they're not uncomfortable either. So just to know what to expect is similar to a Dunk, and there's a little bit of comfort there. And with this flexible satin upper, there's a little bit more give on the sides as well. As far as style goes, can never go wrong with the black and red Jordan 1. We've seen different textures over the year, canvas on the AJKO, basket weave even on the Union collab. So it's crazy to see the satin pair in person because like I mentioned before, they were so exclusive. You rarely ever saw a pair unless it was on some athlete or in a sneaker consignment shop for $3,000, $4,000. So it's pretty cool to see in hand. Definitely would recommend picking these up if you don't have a pair already. And one last thing, because they are satin, I would suggest using some kind of scotch guard as satin tends to fray pretty easily and you wanna protect your bread one, you wanna protect your investment. So make sure you just throw a little scotch guard on there, should do the trick. But how do you guys feel about the Jordan 1 satin bread? Is this something you've been looking forward to picking up? Or are you gonna hold off until they give us another leather version? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button. We appreciate all the support. But let's go ahead and try these on. Yeah. I'm a chill guy to get along with. Get on a song.
along with Trying to bubble up like the water in the ball grips The heart and soul of the team on some Draymond shit Strong shit, get game crazy, that fade long shit Back in some newest sneakers, you know who the leaders I might pull up in the two-seater, bump and do a leaper Send me five bands and I probably do your feature Whoever hating on me, probably watching for the bleachers Trying to pop up in the visa, take a yacht off the marina You bring a deal to me, don't you ever try to please us I overanalyze shit, read the fine print And I improvise when I do some things I haven't tried yet I'm lit, no heat check, really I'm him Grinding till the night shift, turn to the night swims Catch a vibe quick on these C-Rock beats And when I get on, then the whole squad gon' eat Feel hey yo, me? Hey yo, we back for show if you enjoyed this episode on the Air Jordan 1, make sure you check out all our other Jordan reviews right here. We got a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. New episodes coming soon. Hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date for the latest drops.